going on, champs? Uh, we've got a, what is this, a 1990 Gibson Les Paul Standard in Tobacco Sunburst. Look at the top on that. We, we always talk about how our, show our love for plain tops. But this, man. That's, that's good looking. That it is me, good looking. That to me looks like, um, it's like what I would expect a 58 to look like. Uh, okay, so the weight on this guitar is 10 pounds, 2 ounces. It's got, um, I guess it's a slim taper neck. The nut width on this is 1.71 inches. The depth at the first fret is 0.82 inches, and the depth at the 12th fret is, fret is 0.97 inches. Kind of seems like a 50s neck a bit. Uh, the um, pickups on this, in the bridge, it's got a, it's labeled as a Seymour Duncan DDJ, which is what it is, is a Seymour Duncan distortion wound by MJ at Seymour Duncan. So if you guys don't know who MJ is, just, uh, do a Google search on her. She's worked for Duncan winding pickups forever. She's, That's so she's, cool. She's famous for, for doing the rad windings and just being a rad person all around. That's awesome. So MJ Seymour Duncan, do it. And then in the neck, it's got a Burst Bucker 2 pickup. And then I don't know if I said what fingerboard this has, but it's got a rosewood fingerboard, as you would expect for a, a Les Paul standard. This thing's cool. It's uh, I really like, even though the pickups are not original in it, I like the fact that it's got zebra uh, bobbins in it. It just really has a uh, like a historic 58 uh, vibe to it. And then it's a 90, so it's definitely at the beginning of what people would call Gibson's Goodwood era. These are just getting a lot harder to find. And they're just not making them like this anymore. Yeah, for sure. I mean, maybe they maybe they'll start making them. The, I think Gibson's like making again. amazing guitars today. Yeah. It just but it doesn't. It, you can't age the wood. Something no. about this guitar sitting there for 25, 30 years yeah, is man. gonna do a lot for it. So. Yep. Should we hear some clean? We should. All right. in the on the bridge pickup so the okay so this the, is the burst bucker uh the bridge is the, is the bb2 the or is, no the bridge BB. is the duncan and so or the, sorry the neck is okay so the neck is the bb2 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I swear um and neck bridge neck <laughs> Dude, that's it's too dirty. That's what it is. Everything's up on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It just goes forever. Okay. It's <laughs> yeah. That's a great combination, man. Having that Duncan in the bridge oh, and the yeah, two in the neck. <laughs> Dude, it's so sick. Yeah. Nice. This is one of them. Yep. This is one of the ones that yep. I'm going to regret <laughs> not buying. Right on. <laughs>
Alrighty, now that you've uh, seen and heard us play this, let's go over the condition. I gave this guitar a 8.5 out of 10. It's just got some light scratches, dings, and some wear in the back. Let's go over the condition. Okay, just right off the bat, we can just kind of see some light scratches on that guard. Scratches down by those knobs. And just got some light dings kind of throughout. And just kind of dings throughout. Light scratches. Okay, rosewood fingerboard. Frets look good. There's no wear on them. From the headstock, just has some light scratches and dings. Okay, let's flip this over. Okay, uh, serial number on this one is 906605850585. There's your made in USA. Back of the headstock is clean. There's no cracks or anything like that. Okay, and let's see the back of the neck. And we just got uh, a little bit of wear on the back, but we can just kind of go through and see that. Cool, where well, there you have it on that one.